guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Sends. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your lead Sensi consultant. So today I have for you the warm reviews on the 10 new release for spring summer 2023. And we're just going to go through these one bar at a time. I had some that I really, really loved, and I had others that just weren't as exciting for me personally. There's not a bad bar here. I was very impressed with the variety and just the differences in the bars one to another, but not necessarily with some of them, the differences between them and bars we already have, which is why a couple of these rank kind of at the bottom for me, more just because they're not incredibly exciting. It isn't that they are bad. So let's start off with the one that probably wowed me the least, and that is going to be raspberry hibiscus tea. So Sensi says that this has wild raspberry hibiscus petals and elderberry sugar, and I would say yes, it has all of those things. And I tried to test each of these two cubes for a reasonably long period of time, at least 24 hours, before I made a judgment call on them. So the raspberry hibiscus tea is a very good middle of the road berry scent. And it has a sweet tart balance, which you would expect from the notes that are in the description. It throws well, it is nice and consistent. I just didn't find it terribly exciting. So if you are a lover of berry scents, I bet that you will really like this just for me. It was solid, but nothing that I'm gonna go back out and buy six of. So then the next one, I'm having some trouble smelling this one when I first put it in the warmers, and that is Mountain Sunset. I left this in my Florida room for days, literally days this week. And this one has the most interesting mixture of notes. In some ways, it reminded me a little bit of my wish, and in some ways, as the melt went on and on because I kept forgetting to change it, some little bit of it reminds me of certain notes in Summer Holiday. I am not telling you it smells like Summer Holiday or that it is a replacement for that. I wouldn't dare. That is my favorite summer bar of all time. It's safely in my club. This does not smell like that, but there are certain characteristics of the blending that kind of remind me of it. So this is what Sensi says about Mountain Sunset. It has wild bluebell, warm woods, coconut, and amber. So the bluebell and the amber, I think are what carried it in my Florida room for days. But at first, I kind of was nose blind to it, which is really strange. So I don't know exactly what to think about this. I'm gonna get another bar and melt it in several places, but it just had the weirdest combination of notes and then I struggled a little bit with it not because it isn't a beautiful smell but just because I couldn't really discern it well in my home so I hope that other reviewers have a much better first impression of that the scent is gorgeous I just had trouble really appreciating it until way late into the warm where all I was getting was bluebell and a touch of amber so next on my list and we're just kind of going from my least favorite up to my absolute favorites the next one that's on here is probably going to be Sugar Blossom. And it's not because it's a lousy performer or because I do not like it. It's just, I had to pick some that weren't as amazing as others to do it countdown style. Sugar Blossom actually really made me much happier than I thought it would when I got the thing in the warmer. I did do this one in my bedroom. And it was one cube in my Birds of a Feather warmer and one cube in my Amazing Grace. The profile of this is interesting. You just have to get it out of your head that it's a bakery bar. It has this really nice warmth to it. It's kind of body care. It's got a touch of vanilla. Mostly you get that blossom note. And it smells very much like a flower that's been sitting in the sun. And then it has this sweet bakery essence in the background. So this is what Sensi said about Sugar Blossom. It has the golden blossoms, the sugared citrus, and the vanilla. And for me, the citrus reads almost more like a floral quality than a juicy fruit. I do really like it. I'm looking forward to melting more of this. It intrigues me. This is a bar that I can't exactly pin down what I'm smelling, but I do really like it and I'm happy to melt this again. So very good for medium sized spaces. I don't know how well it would do in a very large space, but it's not as weak as I thought it would be on Cold Sniff. I liked it better. So then next would be the one that I said I liked the least on Cold. And that is Tropic Nectar. And the only reason that this scored higher than the first two is because this thing performed well for a long time. And I had only put two cubes in my old Elegance Warmer, which does not have the best dish for throw. And this threw very well. So it starts out with kind of this middle of the road, 
tropical fruit punch with creaminess, which isn't bad. I like it better now that I've warmed it than say paradise punch unless I'm really in the mood for fruit punch. And Sensi says that tropic nectar is tropical fruit nectar, coconut milk, and agave, golden agave. It's so sweet and creamy, especially the longer it melts. Oh, and it does have very good staying power, and I was impressed. I am definitely going to get more of this, and for me, this is probably going to become my favorite fruit punch scent that Scentsy has made, so that one moved up a good bit in my personal estimation after warming. So then we get into the ones that I really liked. So all six of these, I am absolutely buying more as soon as I possibly can. So on the bottom of this stack of six, I really can't decide between these two as far as least favorite because they're just really good. It's going to be two of the green bars. I'm sure that's a shock to you if you know my scent preferences. So Woodland Meadow was very good. It's very lightly cologne-y, springy, woody, and woodsy. I loved it. In my girls' rooms, I just did one cube in each of their rooms in a warmer and then sort of patrolled it. It did a very good job in a small space. I'm sure three or four cubes of this would do beautifully in a medium or larger space, but I just like to isolate each scent when I'm doing this type of review the very first time out the gate, so I try to keep them in separate rooms where they're not mixing with each other. So this is what Sensi says about Woodland Meadow. You've got Woodland Wildflowers, a Forest Canopy, Bergamot, and Amber. So the Wildflower, similar to Fearless by Nature, isn't sweet. It's there, and it gives you a little bit of almost a soapy floral character, but it isn't anything cloying. And then you get, what did they say, amber and forest canopy and bergamot? Yes. So it's a very gentle cologne scent. So let's say you don't like Mystery Man, but you want a cologne smell, or you really didn't like white amber and tea because they were just too strong, but you want something that set a subtle touch of cologne, this might be your bar. I'm really liking it. I actually think I will like this late summer a lot because it's not super sweetsy. Mm, very good. So I was really happy with that. So then the next one that would be my number five is our banana leaf and bamboo. Solid, solid, solid. I loved this. It had very good lasting power. Interesting different scent notes at different times of the melt. Sensi says this has white peach, banana leaf, bamboo, and sheer mahogany. So at first you get a lot more of that sweetness from the white peach and then you get the bamboo. You get that mahogany and more of the smoothness later in the melt with the bar. This is good and it's a great one for a sunroom or maybe a study or an office space. It just is crisp and really, really nice. I'm very happy with this. We'll absolutely be getting more. Now we get down to the final four, three of these. I am so happy with, I love all four of them, but three of them are standouts for my personal taste. So number four, which is really, really good, is Peace Lily Be With You. If you're afraid of this one, don't be. It isn't gonna give you a headache if you have floral issues. It is going to satisfy people who want something fresh and not too floral. It's beautiful and somewhat unique to me for Scentsy. Oh man, this is so good. So this one, Sensi said it has white peace, lily, green apple, watery greens, and vanilla. And it is the most beautiful, perfect blend of all of those. And I was worried about performance. It didn't need to be. Uh, another one of our wonderful uh, YouTube community let me know ahead of time that it was going to be good. He was right. This is very, very nice. And I only had two cubes. Again, I used my Elegance Warmer kind of to see, can this hop out of a warmer that although it's beautiful, it doesn't have the best throw? And it did, it's excellent. So you've got to get some of this if you like pretty much anything. It has such a great blend because it's got the vanilla for people that like kind of mild and just smooth. And then it's got that little bit of green apple if you like tartness and fruit. And then, I don't know, it's a very nice balance bar. Very happy with this. So then my top three. It's really difficult to make a decision on this, man. I think probably my third down is going to be the bar that when I sniffed it, I got all excited because it smells like my husband's cologne. I had to track down the cologne. He did have it in our bathroom. It's Aqua Di Gio by Giorgio Armani. Lake My Day has similar notes. Now this is a it's a home fragrance rather than a cologne or a perfume blend, but it's got those notes and it smells so much like Gregory. It's so funny. So, oh man, I love this. 
It is not what I wanted it to be, but I love the scent. So it is a light, very nice lake, in a conceptual way, cologne scent. And it makes you feel like you should be out near fresh water. And it is just so relaxing, so good. And this might just be a personal thing for me. I'm not sure how much other people are going to like this, but it's a gentle cologne scent, kind of like the wildflower one. It isn't gonna hit you in the face like most of our men's cologne type bars, but it's gonna give you a little bit of that type of freshness without being aggressive. This is fantastic. I am going to get tons of this. It is very, very different than what it replaced, which was Atlantic Air. If I had to choose between the two of them, I will take the Atlantic Air because I love the salt and the orchid. But this in its own right is a beautiful bar and we don't have one that smells like this in our Scentsy roster because like I said, all of our cologne smells are heavy. This isn't. This is so beautiful and floaty and you guys are gonna love this in the summertime, I'm pretty sure, if you like fresh. Okay, so we're down to the last two. And really those didn't change from my cold sniff thoughts as far as me liking them. This mango matcha is amazing, you guys. It is so juicy, but it has all these other notes. Oh, and I got all excited and forgot to tell you what was in Lake My Day. Lake My Day is supposed to be lake waves, crisp bergamot, and fresh oak moss. So it just reads light summer men's cologne in the nicest way. And if you have a lake house or you have like a boat house that's out by the water, that would be a perfect smell to melt in there especially if you have a beautiful old wooden boat. So then we have banana leaf. No, we already did that. Mango matcha, we're on mango matcha. Mango matcha is mango nectar, matcha sorbet, salted cucumber, and pure sugar cane. Yes, and I got all of them, all of the notes in here. This bar was so good. I did not want to take it out and I want to probably get three of them just out the gate. And we just released that mango collection that was all go, go mango. The mango margarita in there would be complimentary to this, but this one lasts much longer for me and I am very impressed. So this has that sweet juiciness plus all the other notes that I just mentioned. It must have a little bit of depth from the matcha green tea. Phenomenal, you guys. I cannot wait to melt more of this. And my favorite did stay my favorite. Soak and Rays is definitely my personal number one. The reason is because a long time ago we had this amazing bar called Sea, Sun, and Fun. And one of my other consultant friends and I have been trying to vote this thing back, especially her, but I've been trying to vote Sea, Sun, and Fun back for years. Now Sea, Sun, and Fun is much heavier than Soak and Rays. So that would be the one difference. This is a lighter version, but it's along the same lines and I love it. So it is the most gorgeous light summer floral suntan scent. It's going to be amazing with coconuts for coconuts, maybe even with kukui and coconut, very good with coconut palm, which I finally came around to. So Soak and Rays is Mandarin, Orange Flower, and Ocean Air. It is gorgeous. I don't know about strength in a large room, because sometimes these suntans, oh, and the tiara and coconut, I cannot wait to melt this with tiara and coconut. That's probably gonna be the best pairing. But this one, I'm not sure about strength, like I've said before, my squirrel brain did its thing. You might need a few cubes, but sometimes these suntan scents are, they're kind of low level and all of a sudden they just go and you're warmer and then you're choked out by it. So be careful with this. For people that have trouble with heady florals, this does not come across to me as strong as Lush Gardenia, but it does have a perfumey nature that if something like Lush Gardenia triggers you, this one might too. But wow, you guys, this is so beautiful. And I was sad that we got rid of Paradise Petals, but if I had to choose between the two, I will take the sacrifice because this is a fabulous bar. So those are my thoughts on the 10 new releases. If you guys have gotten your nose into these or you've gotten to melt samples or you're another consultant, let me know which ones do you like. So what went up in my estimation when I melted them were definitely the Sugar Blossom and the Tropic Nectar. These were better than I had anticipated. Mountain Sunset is still a little bit of a performance puzzle for me. I will get another bar and see what I think. The raspberry hibiscus tea, very middle of the road, very solid. It just depends on what you like in your scents. You've got to get some peace silly be with you. This is really good. If you like green, please get some banana leaf and bamboo. If you like a little bit of cologne with your woodsy, get some of the wildflower meadow. And like I said, this one I think will be very nice toward the end of the summer. 
And then if you like your juicy, fruity, with a little bit of depth, this mango matcha just hits it out of the park. Like my day is just always going to remind me of my husband, so it is just a happy scent. But I like to do kind of a nautical lake seaside theme in June and July, and this is going to set the scene beautifully for that. And then absolutely my top honor goes to this soak and raise. It's phenomenal. So have a great day, guys, and let me know what you think. And you can order all of these March the 1st. So when the new catalog comes out, get on the website. Mine is, again, waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us. I am taking new customers all the time, and you can always email me. You can always ask any specific questions. And as we get to know each other and we develop a relationship, I will try very hard to really take good care of you. So have a great day. Bye-bye.